Do you ever wonder where all of your money goes? Well, getting on the right budget can go a long way. Scott Dobson from Consumers Credit Union is here with us to show us the ins and outs of money management. Scott, it's a pleasure to have you today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so most people receive a check every yep. two weeks from their employer. Sure. And then not long after, a lot of people are wondering, where did all the money go? Why is a budget so important? Well, I think a budget is so important really because if you don't have a budget, your money's in control of you. Your paycheck comes, your bills are there, and they tell you what you're going to do with your money. And if you have a budget, you can really change that so that you're in charge of your finances instead of your finances being in charge of you. Yeah, so how does someone successfully create a budget and stick to it if they've never had a budget before? It's tough. Uh, the first time I tried to, to make a budget, I tried to set a full budget. I was going to budget for everything, including like how much I was going to spend in gardening, and it immediately fell apart. I didn't stick to it, and it went away. So we've developed a lot simplier plan, and if you're going to budget, we uh, suggest you start with paycheck budgeting. You get a paycheck usually every two weeks, um, and let's start with budgeting one thing. Um, and usually uh, a person's most important thing to budget is their house. So take your house payment. Um, if you're spending $1,000 a month on a house payment and you get paid twice a month, then obviously you should save $500 from one paycheck and $500 from another, and um, then you'll have $1,000 to make, to make your house payment. But we have a lot of great technology that makes that very easy. Um, we suggest to our members that they open a, a bills account um, and another account and can have your money go directly in there. And you're, to, to start a budget and make sure that you're your bills are getting paid that are important to you, then affect your credit score being made on time. Yeah. Once you've set a budget, once you know where your paycheck, how much is coming in, how much is going out for all the bills that you have to pay every month, then there's all the rest of your money. Um, how much are you spending on grocery shopping? How much are you spending on uh, paying down student loans or for your mortgage debt? Once you have your basic budget in place of this is what's happening with my paycheck dollars, then you can go to what am I going to do with the rest of my dollars? And we have a lot of really cool tools on our, our consumers platform that you can see online. How am I paying down my mortgage? Which bills are most important for me to, to pay down? Um, how much am I spending going out to dinner? That's been a great one for I me. I think a lot uh, of people are very surprised when they set this out and they say, okay, this is going towards my mortgage, this money is going towards my bills, and then this is extra spending. And when they finally see and break it down, what they're spending on going out to eat, going out to lunch, all of those extra things, it can be alarming. It can be alarming and, and give you a lot of information. If you look at the end of the month and, just, and see that you spent more going out to dinner than you did paying your mortgage, uh, you might need to, to readjust where you're spending your money. But using the tools that we have online gives you that ability to see where your money is going and, and for you to be in control and really decide where you want it to go. So it works best for your life. That's why you make money anyways. So it makes your life work. Yeah, so you're the expert in this area. Is it good to have two separate checking accounts or two different sources, maybe one for all of your bills and then the other for spending so you can really see where all of that money is going? Absolutely. Going? If you're first starting a budget, the very best thing to do is have an account for just your bills, an account for just, I say, your debit card or just for spending um, so that when your paycheck comes in, you know, some of it needs to go to pay your house payment, some for your car payment, your car insurance, those bills that happen every month um, that affect your credit score. Put that money aside. It's already spent. Get it aside so that when you're looking at your account, it's your money that you really get to, to use for what you want to do. Yeah, and this is going to help a lot of people in saving for those extra things like vacations. So for members or people out there that are thinking of, about becoming a member, mm -hmm. you have a platform online that really helps a lot of people. Can you explain what this is? Yep. Uh, Consumers Credit Union Art. We have an online app and uh, just uh, going online. And you can see all of these tools. And it really makes life easy for you to, to set up and control your finances finances when your paycheck's coming in and understand where your money's going to. Um, and it gives you the power to decide, nope, I don't want my money going to pay this credit card anymore. I'm going to pay that one off and I want that money to go back into my spending account and do with it what I'd like. Yeah, well, we know that Consumers Credit Union, you give back to community in so many ways. And there are a couple opportunities that you and your staff are getting involved in. And they happen to do with the MS Walk. So there's three of them coming up. Can you tell us a little bit about why you do this and how people can get involved. Sure. We get involved in charities um, that affect our members and our employees directly. And the MS Walk definitely does that. We've been we've been uh, supporting this walk for seven years and a bicycle ride. Uh, I guess I'm not much of a, of a walker, but I am an avid bicyclist. So I did do the MS ride last year and I'll be doing it again this year. But it's just a great opportunity uh, to, to connect with people, um, to support your local community and, and to volunteer and raise some money for a great cause. Yeah, and you do this because... 
you have employees that have been touched by MS. Absolutely. So it's a great way to give back. People can yep. go online to the MS website. There is one in Kalamazoo on the 19th, Grand Rapids on the 19th, and then the Holland MS bike is on June 10th. You want to go online and register for that. It's all for a great cause. Okay, we know that uh, you're giving back to community in this great way, but if people want more information on how to budget mm. their lifestyle and maybe the income that's coming in and not so much coming out, you yep. can get more information by going to you where? Absolutely. Come into uh, any of our 20 offices. Stop in at consumerscu.org. Check us out online. Uh, we are a hands-on type of credit union. We will definitely help you set up a budget, get it started, and make sure that your money is working for you. Yeah. Scott, thank you so much. Really great information. Thanks for I having appreciate me. appreciate it. And don't go away. We've got more 8 West after this short break.